non-stop jokes is on the way. But before we get going, subscribe so we can keep this thing rolling. It could also just be like why 20s are garbage as well. Ooh. That's very good. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh but you my. need you need some distance from it. Yeah. Like the fine wines, aged wines that we are as a group to understand how garbagey that how time period garbage, is. How garbage. smelly. Just the worst. Stinky. Yeah. Oh, it smells like failure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Guys, we're here, we're doing it. This is Terrell Style 5, I'm Eric Terrell. We're here at Helium and we are loud, okay? <laughs> Can you hear me, Brad? <laughs> Sorry, Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with some of my favorite folks, a new friend and some of my favorite folks, okay? And we believe in one thing mm -hmm. and that's Non-stop jokes. Yes. Keep them coming. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> My man Ron Kane is joining us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell fuck ass yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, I like that how many have you? <laughs> how yeah, many? Too, too many. <laughs> yeah, too, too, too many. <laughs> no, this, this is my first one. But, um, you know. Lots of sips, I think, in the past two minutes. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> Emily Epstein White. That's me. Back again. I am here. Again. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. I am. I am here. Thank yes. you for having me. Oh, as yeah. always. As always. <laughs> Cecily the Great is joining us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I sure am. That's right. <laughs> You don't need to know her last name. That's <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know it, it's that your problem. That is only for the government to know. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly enough, we're talking about the top five reasons that 30 and over is better. Okay? These aren't the signs that 30s is the best. Mm. It's just that where you are past 30 is better than where you were before 30. Mm -hmm. okay. Wherever you are right now, yep. if you're past 30, is better than where you were at 29. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is why. All right. Okay. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Your worst relationship is over. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are a little high. <laughs> a little. For me, that's almost not fair because I've been married a long time. And, How long? Uh, me and my wife have been together 22 years now. That is a long time. Okay. Yeah, so we were together, you know, throughout our 20s. And, nice. And, wow. Yeah, so I, we started dating when she, uh, I was 19 and she was 17. Oh my God, that's adorable. Yeah. yeah. That is adorable. Well, you know, started, <laughs> started dating at 17? Well, she, yeah, she was 17, I was 19. I was already out of high school. When you were, when you started dating? Correct. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't Are like... Are you trying to, like, build a court case against him? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. how many months to 18 was she? <laughs> yeah. And on August of 2003. <laughs> right, I need to say this. Everything yeah. was consensual. <laughs> we waited till we were two for this one. Hilarious. These are the top five reasons that 30 and over is better. Okay? Booze no longer controls you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. Or, to play the play, it does control you so very much you realize it's not worth it. So you're like, I could drink all this, but I'm gonna feel like shit for like two days after this, and I got shit to do. Right. So perhaps pull it back, or hey, Bringing some water to this little party, so I feel a little, little food. Yeah, you know? yeah, well, a little bit, you know, maybe yeah. eat something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not start before breakfast. It may, maybe, maybe. Start lunch. Yeah. You know, that's maybe sort of after thing. lunch. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, it's like every 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 like alcoholic who you know like is going to AA meetings and like they you know they're like they're sick because of alcohol, mentally sick. Mm. Like, they all remember that rock bottom. They all, that's a thing that they all remember when they hit rock bottom. Yeah. But even if, you, if, you, if you're not that bad, like for us, who've never been to an AA meeting, you know, 
not, not really alcohol. <laughs> alcoholic. You did have me on the alcoholic Wait, podcast. I did. So you I'm think you're saying. better than us? <laughs> <laughs> we can still remember our own little rock bottom. Yeah. Like we all have had, in our, somewhere in our 20s, something that we can call a rock bottom. Maybe not a rock bottom, but a bottom. Yeah. <laughs> a rock and a hard a place. A rock, yeah. yeah. Where it's like, yeah, this is not how I want to live. These are the top five reasons that 30 and over is better. Number three, you don't have to explain yourself. Mm, oh, yeah. To people. I, about anything. No. Nope. You do what you do, and you're you. And you tell other people, hey, you get what you get. And you don't get upset. upset. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Except to my mother. But yes, everybody else can go yeah. walk off a cliff. Right. Yeah. It is nice. I think because it's a. I think it's like a self-esteem thing. You're kind of at a point where you're coming. You're understanding right. who you are, and you're accepting who you are, and you make your choices because you make your choices, and nobody else yeah. has to know why. Yeah. Because you stop judging yourself, and so you don't accept judgment from anyone else. Damn it! I like jigsaw puzzles. Okay. <laughs> And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I think for women it's difficult because I think we spend like that early part of our lives, like 20s and stuff, trying to like feel comfortable and then we get comfortable in our 30s and then like eventually menopause and stuff happens and then you're invisible and you're trying to like find your footing again. So it's like this roller coaster of giving fucks and not giving fucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't gotten like, to that part. Me neither, yeah, but I just but feel, it, I mean, I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like you reach in your pocket at any given time, not knowing if fucks are there or not. It's true. <laughs> it's like, oh, is no there fucks. a hole in the line? <laughs> <laughs> are there hidden fucks? I don't know. Where'd the fucks go? I just yeah. gave some. Yeah. I don't have yeah. any more. <laughs> All out of them for today. Who knows? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it is. It's very. It's 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 weird. It's very weird. Yeah. yeah. And kids change that a lot for people too, especially in your twenties. Say like you're twenty five and you have a kid. You know, that can go two ways. Either, you know, you're still like, oh, I'm going to be this partier, or you finally wake up and realize, like, I can't really party like that anymore. Oh, my God, I can't imagine having a kid at 25. Ooh. Oh, my. Although, I would almost be free, and that would be amazing. But. Yeah. 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 The, the, only, the best thing about having kids early is that you have the energy. To do it. That's wow. Not, yeah. That's what you really. Oh my God, that's so true. Because like now, oh, because my kids are older, <laughs> and I'm like and, a weekend. And, and, I, <laughs> and I see people in their twenties. Sleep as much as you can. Yeah. <laughs> I see people in their twenties, like pushing around kids and toddlers, and in their thirties, and I look at them and I'm like that is just exhausting. Oh my. God. Because they, as you know, kids want something all the time. They're pulling yeah, on you. Know you know that. That. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Stop the crap. Oh, <laughs> oh man okay here we go these are the top five reasons that being 30 or above is better okay number two you have a little money mm, i did before i had kids yeah <laughs> I, so i think i had more money like in college mm-hmm Probably really? just because, I mean, I'm still paying that back. Um, <laughs> I'm not actually Had a little borrowed money. Just, <laughs> it's just sitting there. Like, That's why she doesn't me. give her full name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then there you go. But um, I think now I am more selective on what I'm going to... Like, I yeah. work so that I can play. Like, there are mm-hmm. very specific things that I want to do. And those are the things that I'm more responsible in that way. Mm-hmm. As we all know, I've been responsible my entire life. Entire life. But I'm being responsible so I can play. Yeah. Like, so yeah. I can go to gymnastics yeah. and have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, this, this is this, this, guys, this is for us who are, you know, in our 30s, you know, it's like, because it gets a little depressing, you know, when, when you think about it in a depressing way. 30 was a little little weird for me, and then 31 was bad. I was like, oh, no, I don't like this. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. And 
But these are the reasons that it's not bad. It's good. This is the glass half full. This is the, well, I mean, the glass is full. There's no glass half full. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fill up the glass, okay? <laughs> these up. are the reasons <laughs> that being 30 and above is better, okay? Number one, because you are actively improving yourself. Yes. See, when you're in your 20s, you're just constantly. I'm going to cry. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm you're finished. constantly tearing yourself apart with toxic relationships, toxic drinks, <clears throat> and a whole bunch of toxicity. But, you know, your physical health, your mental health, you acknowledge it and you take ownership of it and improve it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Absolutely. I think, too, like, there's, there's such a... There are these mark we all need markers in our life, right, to figure out. And I always remember it being like, well, by 30, I'm going to have this, that, and the other thing done. Like, I had a deal with a friend of mine who I had a, just a, a horrible crush on. If we hadn't <laughs> found anybody by 30, we'd get married, right? <laughs> Which was hilarious because when he turned 30, he called me out of the blue, and he's like, what you doing? And I'm like, in a relationship, living my life. I haven't talked to you in, like, seven years. <laughs> That's but, weird. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so, it was Obama's inauguration. I was like, I'm at Obama's inauguration, actually. I'm, right. I'm busy. I'm busy. But, right. Like, yeah. were you looking for people, sir, or were you really just waiting for me? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was holding out. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. oh. It was his He's birthday. Like, like, he called me out of his It was so strange. But, yeah, but it was like, I had all these markers about all these things that I wanted to accomplish by that time and then you turn 30 and you're like oh it doesn't matter like yeah. it's and then you look at all these stupid not the under 30 list the 30 under 30 list but like you think about like the Rodney Dangerfields and all the people who accomplish things later mm -hmm. and you realize also we're gonna live a lot longer so we got a lot more time to get things done yeah and that was so for me it was like 30 was hard but then I was like oh it's all good it's all good um like I remember too like I we was, got control now yeah, like I, I, I was like 23 and I was at the gym and I was talking to this woman and I realized that she was not 23, that she was 30. And I told her she looked good for her age. And she looked at me with like, bitch, seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I didn't understand that until when I was 30, someone told me that I look good for my age. And I said, bitch, seriously? Because <laughs> no, that's not a time where we're starting to look good for no, no, we have more time before we. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, general rule of thumb, never say for your age. Yeah, yeah. never, ever, ever. Tell ever. someone they look good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you look great. Thank yeah. you. Compliment your right. right. goodbye. Yeah. For your stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you say yeah. Shut your mouth. Well, what the fuck is my age then? If you <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. Okay. Uh, you guys are so amazing. So, Ryan Kane, where can people find you online? Uh, I'm on all the socials, but you can look me up on Instagram at Ron Kane Comedy. Uh, C A I N E. That's how you spell Kane. Hell yeah. And, uh, yeah, please look me up. My. <laughs> My stuff's insane. I, I admit it. I'm, because my stuff is like dark, absurd. So right, my right. TikTok is like it doesn't make sense sometimes, but it is. What uh, it is. No, no, it doesn't. TikTok make sense doesn't make sense. On... Either. Right. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's totally fine. There's yeah. a crowd out there for Rod K. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. gives a fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're over thirty. Right. Do yeah. you? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> thank you for taking no, sympathy. Yeah. 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 I'm just waiting for you to go. It's all right. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna give you a group hug. Yeah. <laughs> Emily Epstein White. No, well, you know I'm going to be in the Apollo 2024. We've talked about <laughs> yeah. that. I'm going to be in the Apollo 2024. Um, yes, with such so a I have a date for 2024. You might have 24 days for next year, but I got, yeah. Um, but I am, I am for now on all the socials. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mastodon will be next. But, um, yeah, I am on all the things on uh, uh, as the MFs and on Instagram as the real, the real MFs, MFs because I have been... It was sabotaged. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. It was such a bad scandal. It was. The I was hacking. very upset. There was no, as a white woman, there was no customer service. There were no managers I could talk to. It was a very what? hard time for me. As a white woman? As a white woman. Wow. I'll be there. As a white woman, <laughs> what the it was a very hard time. Yeah. If I can't talk to a manager, who am I? How oh. dare they not? Did you cry? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is, what but was it on tape? It That's I good. bottled the tears, and oh, I sent okay. them to Instagram. I don't know if it actually got to their offices or not. <laughs> I'm sure. Probably it did. evaporated by I'm the sure time did, it got to them. Did you include you included the Epstein in there, right? Mm -hmm. Epstein mm -hmm. dash. Well, so they knew all of the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have Jewish lasers coming to you. Yeah, no, I got all the things. And yeah. nothing. 
No. What so, a shame. What is this? I know. What is this country? Thank you. What is this? That means a lot. That means a lot. That you Listen can. here, black people, you get hacked, there is nothing. You're right. <laughs> yeah. They can't help Emily Epstein White. There's no hope for anybody. Yep. Anybody. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, Ryan doesn't even stand as good of a shot as getting help as no, no. The Jewish Epstein White. Yep. No, I was just thinking you could take those bottled tears and sell them to incels. I should. Yeah, I that'd should. probably be a good market. Oh, my look, good bottled tears. <laughs> right. <laughs> but my husband, who is black, has a cup that was made for him that says "White Tears," and he drinks his coffee out of it every morning, <laughs> and it makes him really happy. <laughs> that was so, fantastic. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. We got to get that mug. I, yeah. want it, yeah. I want it so bad. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, what? I need it. I'm it's also it. great because it's our last name, but still, that's not the reason. That it's, that <laughs> it's just about Caucasians. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Don't laugh at me when I have it next episode. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm playing? Okay. Cecily the Great. Where can people find you online? Uh, Cecily the Great on Insta. Um, and if you find my TikTok, it's all gymnastics and aerials. So oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's not yeah. comedy at all. The videos somehow make me laugh, though. Not in a laughing at oh, you no. way. No. Yeah, like, wait, a minute. There. wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's good. Are you just, <laughs> I'm going to move like, further away. <laughs> pointing and laughing at me? Every Am I being time teased? <laughs> Not, At least you don't good. say anything on there. The, I'm not, no, I mean, not. in a good way. Like, like you, you go Cecily. He's going to go down like heart every single video <laughs> yeah, right, on right, a right. row. It's going to be really creepy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's great. Listen here. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody. Bye.